What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Bucket here and this is Bucket's World. Today is part two of the Kansas City Barbecue Throwdown. If you watched the first video, part one, we went to the latest and greatest and one of the newest joints in town and supposedly the best in town and that was Q39 in Midtown. Today we're going to one that I've got a little bit higher hopes for. Um, it's one of the oldest joints in town. It's very famous around these parts. It is Arthur Bryant's Barbecue in Kansas City. So stick around, check it out. We'll let you know what we think of it as compared to uh, Q39. If you like what you see, drop a like, drop a subscribe, leave a comment down below. If there's better barbecue in Kansas City and we're missing it, let us know. Thank you guys for watching. And we've arrived at the famous Arthur Bryant's Barbecue in Kansas City, Missouri. And, uh, just by the looks of it from the outside, I can tell you that uh, this already looks like a more traditional barbecue joint than uh, Q39. That doesn't mean that looks can't be deceiving. Let's go on inside and check it out. sake of the video we are comparing apples to apples got brisket got ribs beans and fries and already at face value it appears like we're gonna have a winner here at Arthur Bryant's let's wait and see how it tastes all right so we're gonna start off with the ribs At first, uh, first impressions are it's a little, they're a little less meatier than uh, Q39, and they don't want to fall off the bone. Let's see how it tastes. Very tender. Lots of smoke. The bark is fantastic. The sauce isn't overpowering. I would say, so far, I've got a winner here at Arthur Bryant's with the pork rib. Let's try this brisket. And since they had sauce on it at 239, I'm going to put some sauce on it from here. The brisket's definitely served differently. It's like a shaved brisket here versus a uh, sliced. A little bit of sauce. I like that sauce. That's the sweet heat one. This one is uh, sweet heat. There's also a uh, regular Kansas City barbecue. And then original. But yeah, it's good. I'll give you my final thoughts here in a little bit. So for my money, 
yeah. every barbecue meal should have uh, beans as a side. These ones look delicious. Look like they're made with burn ends. I'm gonna give this a taste. Very good. The barbecue sauce, you can tell they've got the, uh, the sweet barbecue sauce in it. <clears throat> Very good. The, uh, the chopped beef that's in it, or the burn ends, or whatever it is that they use, is a nice accent to the flavor. This is uh, probably the closest thing that I've had to baked beans uh, here in Kansas City between the two. This is traditional barbecue. Q39 is a little too modern, a little too upscale for my taste. So right now, Arthur Bryant's is in the room. So after I uh, plowed through the meal here, obviously I didn't finish because it wasn't a lot of food. Uh, one thing I did want to point out is that the price for what we got here was almost exactly the same price for what we got over at Q39 as well. Um, so, I mean, we did have appetizers over there, so maybe that's a little, it makes it a little bit different, but just to make that as a note, um, this is probably more than the average person would ever order. I ordered both the pork and the brisket uh, for the sake of the video and for the sake of the comparison. And speaking of the brisket, you know, one thing that I, I'm not a big fan of how they slice the brisket here, it's shaved, uh, it's not sliced. I think that really affects the flavor because you're not getting any of the bark on the outside, which to be honest with you, it doesn't look like there is any bark on the outside before they shaved it. Um, but it was, it was good, it was decent, but I was told before coming to Kansas City to stay away from the beef, uh, the pork is where it's at, and between these two places, I'd have to say that that absolutely rings true. So the pork ribs, they were tender, they were, uh, they were juicy. Uh, the bark item was fantastic. I don't think that uh, Q39 had much of a, a bark item at all. And these were definitely a little drier than Q39. Uh, that doesn't mean that they weren't juicy. It's just over there, the, the, uh, the amount of juices I don't think that the uh, Q39 pork ribs was noticeable. So between the two, uh, I think the final answer is we have a clear winner. And unfortunately, for everybody that told me that Q39 was the best barbecue in Kansas City, for all those people that say that Q39 online, that say that Q39 was the best barbecue in Kansas City, all I gotta say is, in my opinion, for my taste, you're dead wrong. Uh, I found Q39 to be rather bland and tasteless. Whereas here at uh, Arthur Bryant's the place has been open since the fifties for a reason. You know, you don't make that barbecue and be this, this successful. So for the throwdown, Kansas City, Q39 from Arthur Bryant's. Arthur Bryant's, in my opinion, for my taste, is where it's at. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment down below. Like I said, if there's a better place in Kansas City, let me know. The next time I'm up here, I'll go try it and see if you're right. Thanks for watching, everybody.